Hello and welcome back to the MindTrack.net game server. Currently working on deck 40. Yeah, deck 40. I went ahead and decided to work on getting decks 42 and 41 done because out here on deck 36, uh, I got a little burned out. So, yeah, since the last video, I think we've done deck 31, or excuse me, deck 34, 35, and there's deck 36. So, here's the layout so far of deck 36. You can see the path of the conduit. This is going to be the biggest deck of the drive section to complete. Because not only do I have to do the conduit routing, I have to do the walls around it, and then I have to fill in all this space, all this real estate has to be filled in. So it's going to take some time. Over here we have a big battery bank. This is an engineering transporter systems. I already got the fusion reactors in because it was a shared level with deck 35 plus the tank and then these are science stations or labs and stuff and then over here are some more science or science labs and stuff and whatnots and then we have of course the computer core and over here some sensor stuff and then the RCS thruster and some more sensor stuff through here and then we have the lifeboats and then the lifeboats underneath over here as well and those are on deck 37, 36 and 37. And of course, deck 36 is also the deck that has part of the, uh, well, I'd say the upper part of these windows, which is then shared with deck 37. So if we were to go in here, I think most of these things would probably just drop us out onto the ground. Yeah, but you get the gist of it. So as you can see it down through here. But I got all of these figured out and set up you know, hopefully uh, M likes them, I don't know. Uh, she said she was going to take a look at them, so I hope she got the time to do so. Anyways, running around here, you can see that this is going to take some time to complete. I also have the main life support in, as well as the forward shield generator, and there's the aft shield generator, I believe it's uh, back here somewhere. It may not be on this deck. Oh, there it is. I think it's that one right there. So both shield generators are in, or both, well, on the port side and excuse me, the starboard side, fore and aft, are now in. Then of course we have this cargo area here, and then the torpedo magazine, and some more batteries. So I also revamped this area. Beforehand, this turbo lift went all the way up. There was no need for it. It was just redundant because it does it on the deck above it. So I wanted to reclaim it so I could have some escape lockers. Plus I wanted to make this a little bit bigger. This here I think is the is the engine emergency life support system so this will be centralized as well so I wanted to make it pretty big and robust so I needed space for it and went back through and she relabeled and redid some of these areas through here so what we got here she removed some of my walls so this must be a big it's probably waste management I bet organic and organic excellent excellent spot for that really good spot for that then we have these two areas here so what we got here we got combined space and make uh, room for a small deuterium tank. Some more fusion reactors, it looks like. So, yep, we're going to have a couple of more fusion reactors, probably two fit in there, and this will be another tank. So, we got another tank and some more fusion reactors. Good idea. And what do we got going on back here? Labs, storage, labs, offices or labs, uh, first aid. All of this is phaser and sensor stuff. This is most likely sensor stuff. This is for the transporter. And I think this might be gravity generators. That's your off-axis controllers. And then you have your backup gravity generators. Good point, because those if they take damage, you still need them out here to protect the pylon. You also have nacelle parts, which is good. And then what is this stuff here? SIF plus shield reinforcement notes. Oh yeah, I put this here. This is a beautiful spot for that. And of course, transporter thing Maji. And then over here will be the engineering production area or machine shop, so fabs, a couple of bunch of fabs in here. Also, when it comes to doing the nacelle, the uh, thing with the nacelle is the nacelle can be jettisoned off the pylon. So the pylon has to have its own hull as the underside of the Nacelle also has to have a hole, so I have to come in here. Let's go ahead because I don't want to break out the compass. I'm too lazy. It's easier to do. The oh shit! I guess we do have to break out the compass. No, wait. We can go through here. Yeah, there we go. We're going through here. All right. So 
at the top of the pylon, there has to be an upper hull. At the top, bottom of the nacelle, there has to be a hull. So there's a two thick section here. Top of the pylon, top of the nacelle. And then in that, there has to be access point for the stairwell, assuming this is where it's going to be, the turbo lift, possibly a Jeffries tube or two, and of course, the conduit system itself. This way here, if they have to jettison a nacelle, they can just release it and it goes, floats away. Of course, all the couplings and everything else separate, and then, of course, the same with the turbo lift, and then the stairs, all that just basically just floats away with the nacelle, and then, of course, the airlocks close, and everything below it's sealed, and everything above it's sealed, except for, of course, you know, maybe there might be some holes in the nacelle. But yeah, that's got to be in there. And also, we have to have an airlock, which I guess I could have just used to come into the nacelle, I wasn't thinking. And then I think there's a phaser strip on here somewhere. I'm not sure. I thought there was one on the outside of this nacelle. Uh, pretty sure there was a phaser strip on the outside of this nacelle. Most positive there was a phaser strip on the outside of this nacelle. Mostly positive there was a phaser strip on the outside of this nacelle. But I'm not seeing it. Anyways, I'll show you deck 35 here. And we'll take a real quick tour of that. I guess I will have to break out the damn compass. Compass time. Give me compass. Come with me, compass. All right. We'll go through here. This is one of the rooms. I think this one. Ooh, this. Oh, this is an upper lounge. Large lounge. Very large lounge. Very, very large lounge. I think it's probably one of the largest lounges on the ship. Anyways, nice big uh, facility there. Come through here. You have. Did I just see a hole in the roof? No. Anyways, you have, of course, turbo lifts and long corridors that kind of come around back through here. Those blue things are labels for rooms and stuff. They could probably be ditched, but I'll leave them until M takes care of them. This is for the hollow suites, and we have a series of four small hollow suites. As you can see, they're in there. Pretty nice size hollow suites. Roomy. They're not limited by height because we hid the top of them in the floor underneath the organic and inorganic uh, equipment. So, replicator heads. The personal hollow suite, or as Jordy likes to call it, his love shack. And there we go. It's looking pretty good. And you get the feel for the corridors through this ship. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's a little bit brighter for us, and we don't have to worry about everything. And I don't think anybody's on the server, so I'm not going to worry about it. But yeah, check it out. Check it out so we don't have to worry about chat messages. It's a really good feel through here. You kind of fly through here. This is one of the larger hollow decks. Actually, I think that's actually what it's labeled as hollow deck. Yep, hollow deck. Get a nice big view of this room here. This is a really good spot. What the heck? Um. Hmm. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Um, yeah, this looks like a snafu here. We'll fix that real quick. It means I'll probably have to go on the mirror side and do it as well. Ew. Or maybe not, because this is on this deck here. Yeah, I'll have to go on the mirror side and do it as well. Uh, no, I don't want to go this down. See, every time I do a tour, I find something wrong. It is in canny. Oop, I took a screenshot. I screwed up. So, oops. I'll fix it on the flip side as well. But, uh, we get over that way. Come back through here. Another turbo lift that goes forward to aft through here. Pretty nice. We have some more batteries, of course. Well, the general general stuff you see in it. Another big hollow deck. See if I made the same mistake in here anywhere. Uh, I don't see anything, but yeah, pretty big hollow deck. I like the roominess of this. This is actually very comfy. Stairwell, bathroom, and then a nice long. Oh, check this out. Uh, I think we're safe to do this. Yeah. Okay. Kind of a four-way intersection here. Kind of a neat little thing. We'll, uh, can we go this way or do we run into No, we'll go this way. Bunch of stuff here, another stairwell going down. Here's the central cargo bay for the deck and the deck above it. So yeah, pretty good. I hid some of the magenta stuff yeah, so that we don't see it. Also, it'll serve as like rails and cargo lift, things like that. Here's the torpedo magazine for the lower bay. I think it'll house something like 400 torpedoes if the math on it turns out right with the lower bay counted. Of course, it'll, you know, you could stack them along in the wall here as well if we need be. Here's the aft torpedo launcher. Looking pretty decent. 
pretty beefy little torpedo launch if you ask me. Coolant stuff and all of its powers and stuff is in here, so she's all pretty much good to go with some tweaking and some other little greebles and stuff to be added to the room at some point, I'm sure. We'll fly forward here through the door and work our way this way. Yay! Come back up through here, skip this, that one, and go into this one. And turn my stuff back on so I can fix the boo-boo. Come over here and knock this out. Put that in and fix that. That was a mistake on my part, but none I can do about it now. It's in. We'll just have to live with it as is. But yeah, this deck came together pretty quick. Well, not pretty quick. I took a little bit longer than a week to do because I just really didn't feel like doing it. And so on and so forth. But as you can see, this par this corridor parallels on both sides of this turbo lift. So get around it this way here. And then, of course, at the top here, it just sort of has this. But again, originally this corridor didn't go this way. It was an alteration of the deck that forced the corridor to go this way. But, you know, it is what it is. We have ourselves our little Jeffrey's Tube access point here. And then back this way. So this is a pretty neat little deck. I looked at it in the map earlier. And I gotta say that I like the layout. It has a good feel to it. More Jeffrey's Tube stuff here. Goes into this room here. Forward. But yeah, pretty good. Then up. How far up it goes? Nah, it goes up there quite a bit. And we have ourselves on this side here, a little medical station, and on the starboard side, it's a security station. So, some offices and stuff, or conference rooms and thingamajiggies. Um, Odeon Junction Bay. This is really big to be an EPS Odeon Junction Bay. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna touch that one. I'm gonna leave that room as is, because it was actually set up to be a, 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 a conference room or office, so I'm going to leave that the way it is. If the ODN Junction Bay has to go there, so be it, but it's actually set up for something else, as you can see, so yeah, leave it the way it is, because over here we have the Jeffreys Tube, so I don't see why we would need an ODN Junction Bay right there when we have the Jeffreys Tube and all this stuff over here, but it doesn't mean it doesn't need to go there, it just means that I just don't see the reason for it being so big. Usually ODN and Junction things are pretty small. That's pretty big, so that would probably be better served as an EPS relay slash ODN slash basically stuff it full of stuff if we do it. Anyways, here's the security section. No brig. Doesn't need it because there's going to be a big brig on the decks below it and there's a big brig system on the decks above it. Come out here and the stairwell crosses and goes on down. And again, this big long diagonal hallway corridor comes around this way here. There is some inconsistency with the walls, as you probably have noticed. Um, yeah, I just don't know. Some walls should they be the one style? You know, I, I just don't know. So I, I'm leaving them alone. And we'll, I figure we'll fix it all in post later. This style right here, because I know we run it this way, but are we supposed to run it this way? Should it be this? And yeah, it was just. I wanted to get them up and done, so I figured if, if I get the corridors wrong, we can always come back and do them again later. It's no big deal. It's just, you know, a little bit of time and stuff. Work our way forward here. We have the forward life support. And if we come through here, we have the forward shield generator. So, yeah. And the other ones were, I think, SIF and IDF. Not sure. Let's go ahead and punch out of here and see what we got. Oh, yeah. Darn it. Stuck. I think it, uh, yeah, it's it's this system here. It's the bottom part of the system that we were looking at earlier. And then we come through here, and it's the deflector bay and transwarp drive or initiator, or whatever you want to call it. This stuff up here. And then we have these rooms up here, various with the catwalks, the, the dual level or tri level catwalks, if you want to call it that. I didn't route this one yet. I'll probably get that done here. I need it to be done. So. That'll be either. If I don't catch it, we'll fix it in post. So, uh, you can't get out through here because this thing's a little bit too long. And I'm. Nothing really I can do about that. It is long because there's a turbo lift right here. Now, I could trim this a little bit ish, but it's no big deal because I can just go forward and come around and go down this way here. So, and if they don't want to walk a little bit extra, then, you know, tough shit. You know, beam yourself around the ship if you really have to. That's sort of a thing. Here's life support again. Here's the knockout gas for the f main life support bay here. I'll add some more to the apps. Emergency life support section. And there's a little bit of a main engineering. Of course, the rest of it's over there because when I mirror it, 
the starboard side is different than the port side, so they have to be separately um, installed, uh, put together, however you want to call it. I also did some work through the core area here, as you can see. It's all pretty much uniform until it gets down here, then it gets pretty narrow because of the these pod thingamajiggies. So and there's six to a pairing. So there's uh, 12 through here, and there'll be 12 on this side. Also, this is the emergency uh, where you either fill them or you jettison. And then there's another little fill spot right there where you can bring them in from the cargo bay as well, or ex send them out through the cargo bay. Now I've been working on these decks, trying to get the deck f uh, 44 and 43 done, so 43 and 44. So I had to do the phaser strip. And that was the reason I started. I wanted to get the phaser strip out of the way. The phaser strip's all done and out of the way, and so forth. So I thought I had a ladder going up here turning this thing, but evidently I don't. Oh well. But come down through here and we'll just go ahead and drop on down the lower deck here. This is deck 42, the lowest deck of the ship. There's not a lot going on here. It's one of those decks there would be very few people on, maybe one, maybe two people doing maintenance or whatever. So it's a deck that will probably never really be utilized. There's only a couple of rooms. There's that room and then there's this area here which again goes back to the phaser and then this room will probably be filled with small machinery like EPS relays and things like that and then we'll mirror it over to the port side there come along here and we have batteries along here and capacitors and stuff like that sorry behind this wall here are, is, a, is a tank that can be filled with water, deuterium, whatever and uh, or something else who knows of course, and then there's the transporter machine, and then a bunch of support bracings and stuff. This is the bottom of the warp core, and I guess this is the injection system. Let's see what it says here: antimatter injector assembly. So here's the injector assembly. You can see M's been putting time into it, trying to get it all sorted out and stuff. And of course, we have our trunk line. This is something that uh, we here on Mine Track like to put into our ships and stuff. As you can see, it goes. I, it's hard to see, but because all the ribbing and stuff, but it goes all the way up to the top there. It's one of our neat designs, all the way to the bottom of the impulse engines. And then there's lots of room here for other cool stuff and things and whatnot to go in and work our way all the way back around. And then there's nothing back through here except for this monitor control room. I believe we can take a look at it here. Anti or aft tractor beam control monitoring suite. And of course the and the tractor beam itself is right there, and there's a stairwell up a deck. Right out, you'll see it when we get up here. I'll show it to you real quick what it looks like down in there. But we've got this long narrow hallway, and of course we're back into this big bay here. And we swing around this way here. I'll show you real quick. Come through here, this way, and there's a door right here. I'll probably have to free build the tractor beam assembly and stuff because I really don't know what it looks like on the outside of the ship, so I didn't really want to put it in until. I know the hull details for the tractor beamer are in, so I know exactly where to put the equipment. Now, these batteries right here, these four batteries will probably end up getting dumped, chopped, ditched, removed, whatever you want to call it. Let me come through here again. This is an ODN junction bay, power regulator junction bay. As you can see, it's uh, this right here is can be replaced with the actual wall that's going to be used as the uh, wall for these type of rooms. And here's the gray again. I just over here I raised it up because on the other side of this is a tank. Again, another like water or fuel tank or storage liquid tank of some kind. Big one too because it goes the whole length of the deck. Of course these are emergency lockers. I did remove the first aid station on this deck because it's redundant. It's unneeded. There's nobody on this deck. And if you have to get first aid, you simply come up the catwalk here. Excuse me. You can go out this door, hang a, hang a right, and another right and you're right into the first aid station. So, there's no reason for that. Actually, no reason at all. There's, this is just purely an engineering deck and really there's no need for a first aid station down here. Uh, again, they have it right up there. And the deck below us is even smaller with even fewer people being on it. And the reason I took it out is I needed the space for all this extra equipment, the communication transceiver and stuff to go. This is where that first aid station would have been and I needed the space for this. All this communication equipment because it's all tied into the transporter thingamajiggy right here. That's that's an important thing to remember. And I kept the corridor. At first I thought I was going to have to lose the corridor, but I was able to keep the corridor. 
So I went ahead and kept it because you have to get to this forward section. You know, it just, oh wow, somebody's been busy. Uh, these are probably added by M. Heller. So I'm glad she did that because that'll make it easier when I pair this deck. I'm working on deck 41, 40, this is deck 40, I believe. I've been working on deck 40 here and I'm trying to get it done. So I did a lot of work inside of the clamshell area. As you can see, Emmy even did some work on it. She's got the ribbing and all that stuff in it. And what I was thinking about doing, since we have the access points here for the clamshell, if we really wanted to, I'm just saying, if we really wanted to, we could have the clamshell open and all the cargo come through here, and then this can be open like a lift, and then the stuff could come in and then go up into the cargo bay here, instead of ha and then I could reclaim this entire cargo shell here. But... I don't know if it'll give us the height and stuff that we need, but it, it appears it might actually give us the height, but eh, it's a 50-50 thing. I'm just trying to think of how to reclaim some of the space around this thing and stuff, but the clamshell takes up the entire room. Another way to do it is this floor could be, you can have an entire floor with parts of it that actually retract and stuff, and then there's like a big hole right here, big square, kind of an oblong, smaller version of the clamshell, sort of a thing that kind of slides out of the way, and, you know, make this double thick, you know, this wall through here double thick if possible, well, it would only be single thick because, obviously, here, so if we want double thick, it would be down to, it'd be this, you know, like this, these two, but I don't know, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the way the clamshell looks, but this is a lot better than the Sternbach plants. This is more of the white fire plants, so, you know, it's more of an adaptation of the white fire plants rather than the Sternbach plants. And then everything from this point back is pure Minecraft. Uh, Minetrek, that is. Minecraft is part of Minetrek, because without Minecraft, we would not have Minetrek. But the rest of this down through here is us here on the server. And then we have the aft cargo bay stuff, and I'm working on all this. This is the main cargo bay deck of the lower part of the saucer. And again, we have a ton of cargo space, but it's mainly for engineering stuff. It's up in the spine area. And that's pretty much it as what's going on with this so far. Hopefully I'll get some more of deck 32 done, 32 or excuse me, 36 done. I'd like to have most of the ship wrapped up by the end or the middle of April. It's hard to say because today is March 31st. It's hard to say how much of it will get done. I'm losing steam fast, getting tired, kind of burning out. But yeah, we're, we're getting there slowly but surely. We're getting there, trying to anyways. And then we have the big ass deflector dish. I forget who made it, but uh, job well done. Probably Mad Squirrel. It looks like a Mad Squirrel deflector. Or maybe a D-Mom. Who knows? And then there's the complete rework of the nacelle that's going to have to happen. And again, I'll probably leave that to the server admin, M. Heller, to do. Uh, I don't know enough about the nacelle to touch it. I know that it, it was initially done by a couple of guys, and there's just something wrong with where the... If you look through there, you can see the, the coils, where the coils are. There's, there, there's either too many or too few coils. That's all I know. And it just has to be re redone. Not too much I hope but a little bit to be redone but yeah you can check her out she's coming along really nice through here slowly M is adding hull details in and eventually she'll probably start adding windows and we'll probably end up with windows over rooms that you know you can't see anything into because the machines in the way and stuff like that so and on a side note let's go over here to the Enterprise E and give you a slight update on the Enterprise E yeah yeah, she finally got some loving. Shadow, Appler, and I spent some time yesterday and reworked the corridors that were exposed to the hull. Now, the deck plans initially, the strategic design deck plans, had the hallway and the corridor, the hull and the corridor as one thing. And that's the way I designed it. But after working on the Enterprise D and, and stuff, I came back to the E and I realized I really didn't like having the corridor exposed to the hull, even though it calls for it. So what I did with Shadow's help was we moved the wall from here back. And then we had to rework a couple of the rooms, slightly change some stuff, and so that everything works. But it all fit really well. I was really surprised. It was like it was, you know, just waiting for us to do it. But yeah, we reworked the entire drive section all the all the corridors along the uh, that came in contact with the hull, and we put a actual corridor next to them. And of course, you still have the windows and things like that. There could probably end up being some other stuff put through here, 
you know, maybe some slight stairs or something. I don't know yet. We'll do, we'll see it. We'll play it as it, as it as it goes. But yeah, it all came together really well. So, anyways, I do appreciate you taking to watch. Again, this is the MindTrek.net game server. If you did the like button for me, greatly appreciate it. If you'd like us on Facebook, please do so. If you'd like to donate to the server, link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. What a big ship.